What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have the next Shonen Jump promo, which is Blue Eyes White Dragon. We're finally getting the other artwork that Japan had that we uh, didn't get. I wish this would have come out around the same time as the structure deck, though. You know, more people would use it, but it looks freaking awesome. I can't wait to get this card, and uh, I'm hoping that, you know, since another artwork of Blue Eyes White Dragon, can you please give us Dark Magician Arcana? Please? Maybe with all the stuff that's been coming out lately, like these anime cards getting uh, printed over here, maybe we'll get uh, Dark Magician Arcana very soon as well. I'm hoping so. But yes, it is great to see this card. I love the artwork of it as well. It's hard to beat the original, but this is some nice artwork, I gotta say. Also, uh, to get this card, remember, you have to sign up to Shonen Jump, which is, of course, digital now. You can read it, you know, on your uh, tablet. I don't think it's just iPad. I think it's any tablet and, of course, computer. And uh, you sign up. There's a link, you know, when you click the source, they'll have a little link showing that where you sign up. And, uh, yeah, you get four cards a year, and they mail you the cards, you know, whenever it's time for them to send them out. They do it at certain certain months. Uh, so, yeah, be sure to sign up there if you want to get these cards. I think it's worth it. I mean, because sometimes these cards can be worth what the subscription is, and you can pretty much, like, sell one of the cards. Like, for example, Slifer is worth a lot of money now. If you could have got one of those from the subscription, you can easily just sell it and make your money back on the subscription even. So, yeah, uh, it's pretty awesome, and uh, I'm glad we're getting this card. This isn't the only Yu-Gi-Oh! news though, that we have. We also have the effect, finally, for uh, Dark Magician of Illusions. This is the Shonen Jump card for uh, Japan that they're getting. Uh, this, of course, is an XC version. We talk about this card. It's the XC version, basically, of Dark Magician. It's kind of like how Magi Magi, you know, is the Dark Magician girl uh, XC. So, yeah, uh, we have the effect. I'm going to go ahead and read all the stats and all for you guys. First off, it is a dark spellcaster type, rank 7, XC monster. It has 2,500 attack, 2,100 defense. It requires two level 7 monsters to XC summon into it. And its effect is, you can also XC summon this card by using a rank 6 spellcaster type, XC monster you control as XC material. XC, mo uh, XC materials attached to that monster also become XC materials on this card. Once per turn, you can detach one XC material from this card, special summon one spellcaster type normal monster from your hand or deck. When a spellcaster type normal monster declares an attack, you can target one card your opponent controls, banish it. You can only use this effect of Dark Magician Evolutions once per turn. So yeah, it's another one of those types of sea monsters you basically rank up, even though it's not a number monster, sort of like how we have Gaia before that came out, and uh, you can get rid of one of your uh, rank 6 uh, spellcaster types, and then of course, like, like I said, rank up to this. Not only that, this is a great way to be able to, of course, bring out Dark Magician. I kind of like this card. I, I wonder how it's going to do. It'd be at least fun to use, and I gotta say, I mainly just want it because... It's a Dark Magician XC monster. I can't wait for this card, and I hope that we will have it soon over here in the TCG. Remember, this is for Japan, but uh, hopefully it won't take too long for it to come over here. And maybe if they bring this over, Magi Magi could follow. I mean, come on. I think the whole, there's like nothing to really censor on that card. I don't know why they wouldn't bring it over. It's kind of silly if you ask me on that. So hopefully, maybe they'll have a little bit more of a reason to bring that card back over here uh, for us. Tell me what you guys think about both these cards, though, if you're excited about the promo, whether it be for Japan or, of course, uh, over here in the U.S. And uh, hopefully we'll get this uh, Dark Magician of Illusions really soon over here in the TCG. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe. Links will be in the description, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.